I think it's just a lot of fun. Art walls are meant to be fun. They're an expression of your personality and who you are. So don't get the stress of putting one together. Hi, welcome to the house of Valentina. I'm Valentina. And today I wanted to talk about one of my absolute favorite subjects of all times when we talk about creating our homes and that is the art wall. And the art wall can be a little bit intimidating, let's just say that. I have done a great many art walls over the years in my own home, in my clients' homes, and I have learned from some mistakes, I've learned some tips and tricks, and I've discovered that there's a few things that you can do to help make sure that you nail your art wall every single time. So today I'll be sharing my top tips and tricks to make sure that you nail your art walls in your own homes. If that sounds like something that you are excited about, make sure you give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe because holy moly, we are almost to 100,000 subscribers and I can't believe this. Before we jump into today's video, I wanted to share a package which arrived in the mail a few days ago and I am so excited to open it and check it out and be able to share this week's video sponsor with you. When Care Of approached me, I got really excited because taking care of myself and my personal health is something that I have not always done the best job of. So what's really cool about Care Of is that you get to take a quiz that they send you. It asks you questions about your fitness goals, things that you're doing, things that you want to improve, all different kinds of questions that really help cater your, your box to your life and your personal needs and wants and goals. Inside the box, you get this little, it's a little guide. There are, Care of gut check. Okay, so now I've got a box with a little dispenser, which is super cute. Day's challenge, have your favorite thing for lunch today. Oh boy, my favorite thing for lunch. I guess I'll be eating chocolate cake for lunch. <laughs> Let's put that one in like first. <laughs> that way you'll have to have chocolate cake today. <laughs> so in my pack, I have things like cranberry for urinary tract support, veggie omega, that's because I don't eat hardly any fish, iron because the doctor recommends that I have more iron, and I've got rhodiola because sometimes I tend to feel drained at the end of a day. So there's my little pack. Care of has very kindly given me a discount code, which I'm very excited to share with you. If you are ready to get your customized box, take care of's quiz and see what vitamins and supplements they recommend for you. Click on the link below and use my code Valentina50 for 50% off your first month of Care of. I'll leave the link below down in the show notes so you can find all the information that you need. Well, I don't know about you, but I am thrilled and excited about living my best life in my own home. And I know that all these things are tied together and I've, I really do take a very holistic approach to living your best life at home. And I think that these are great ways to do that. So let's jump into art walls and how you can nail your art wall style at home. And I'm probably gonna have to set my coffee down because otherwise I'm gonna get super excited and start spilling it. Mm, okay. <laughs> One of my favorite things to do before I ever start even thinking about my art wall itself is I really like to just simply gather inspiration. Just any art wall, whether it's out of a magazine or on Pinterest, I just start looking at art walls that I like. And I don't think about whether they will fit in my house. I don't think about whether they will fit in my client's home. I don't think about any of that stuff. I just simply pull pictures of art walls that I like and hopefully ones that I just really love. And then I start to look for themes that will help me build the art wall of my dreams. When I'm thinking about an art wall, I like to think about the location first. Now for me, just behind you guys, um, is a massive wall that's behind my stairs. And this is actually what spurred this entire video is I've been sitting on the sofa over here staring at the white wall. So I'm going through the same thing myself. I've got my location and I'm starting to think through what do I want to do with this location? How big is the location? How much space do I have to work with? Is it going above a piece of furniture? Is it a nice big wall? What are the parameters that I'm working with? Mm -hmm. 
The next thing that I like to consider is the art or the subject. So you can build an entire art wall around a theme if you want to. You can have it themed by the art itself. You could theme it by the frames. You can theme it by color. There's so many different ways that you can create an amazing art wall. And the subject is really important. Some people build them by silhouettes only. Some people build them by Paris themed. Some people build them by, this is my family wall. There, there's so many different ways that you can really divide all these things up. And you really wanna think about the subjects that really matter to you you, the art that, that really jumps out at you and really speaks to you. Art is so personal. It really is all about what it means to you. So don't think about how anybody's gonna feel when they come to your home, what they're gonna be thinking when they look at it. This is your home and your art wall and think about no one else but yourself. It's one of the few times in life when being selfish is completely appropriate. So <laughs> don't feel bad about it, just go for it. Think about your art, think about your subject, Think about what would be meaningful to you. And when you walk through that space and you look at that art wall, what is it that would just bring so much joy to your heart? That's a good place to start. Next up, you wanna consider the frames. So I think that this is so much fun. You need to think about whether you need small prints or do you need large prints? These are all the kinds of things that you need to think about as you're considering putting together an art wall because scale is really important. And just because you have a small space doesn't mean that you have to use small art. A lot of times I'll use huge art in a small space, but I also think that it can be a bit crowded to use a million tiny little photos on a very big wall. So you might wanna think about, go back through your images, go back through your inspiration. Did you find yourself drawn to little tiny photos or did you find yourself drawn to really big ones? You might even find that you like different kinds of things and that is totally fine. You just may not use all of those ideas on this art wall. And that's kind of how you start kind of working yourself back to the ideas. You've got all these big ideas and then you'll start working your way back to what do I want for this actual space? Another thing to consider is the color palette for your art wall. This is really important. You need to think through whether you're going to be uniting things, not only with the frames, but with the art itself. Are you uniting with color? Are you uniting with black and white? Are you uniting by a rainbow of colors? Maybe you wanna have a, just a total mix of colors. Are you going to do one color that is threaded through everything that's on the wall? Are you going to have a mix of colors that's just a total burst of lots of different colors and that sort of unites everything together? Maybe it's the frames that unite everything and the colors are crazy inside or it's all black and white, it's all black frames. And again, you're bringing this unity because when you put artwork on a wall and you've put it all together, there is this aspect, this feeling that it just, it needs to feel like it belongs. If I already have art, what I'll do is I'll lay it all out, look at what I have and decide based off of all the decisions I've made already, do I need to switch frame? Do I need to add another piece of art? And this will help you kind of pull it all together. So I guess I really am kind of already, <laughs> I guess I already gave away the final tip, which is to consider your layout and your arrangement. So that's what I do is I like to lay it all out and really look at everything together. I like to look at the size of the frames. I like to look at the way that the artwork plays off of each other, because sometimes if you have two things that are grouped together, it can be really dominant in that spot. Think about the layout. I think about the way that the artwork really speaks to each other in this overall layout of the artwork and I decide, okay, do I like it better all spread out? Do I wanna group? What is it that really speaks to me? And just look at it all laid out and then you can start putting it up on the wall and just going for it. Then once you've done all of these things, you're really gonna have what you need to be able to go ahead and get this art up onto your wall. And honestly, 
don't be afraid that even if it goes up, I, there's all kinds of great things on Pinterest that you can see where they've taken cardboard or cut out paper and taped them up to the wall so they can really kind of see the layout. Those are all really great ways of creating your art wall before you put a nail on the wall. But I will also encourage you that sometimes even when you've done all your homework and you've done everything that you're supposed to do, something goes up and some piece in there just doesn't feel right. So don't stress over it. Just take that piece out, switch it out with something else. Maybe it's a fun excuse to go to a flea market, go check out your thrift store. Maybe there's a piece of artwork that you might wanna order. I think it's just a lot of fun. Art walls are meant to be fun. They're an expression of your personality and who you are. So don't let the stress of putting one together rob you of actually creating something that you really love. Really focus on yourself, what you love, what's meaningful to you, and that will always lead you to an art wall that you truly love and enjoy. Well, thank you so much for coming to hang out at my home and I'm, I'm gonna have a lot of fun putting together this art wall. I don't actually know how, I don't even know how it's gonna turn out, honestly. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the wall behind you guys because it's right here. <laughs> and I'm thinking, I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know. I, I actually don't know what I will do, but I'm gonna have a lot of fun thinking about it. I'm gonna have a lot of fun daydreaming and a lot of fun potentially, if I decide to go for it, putting it all together and creating something that will be amazing while we're sitting on the sofa to give us one more thing to look at in the room that'll be really meaningful to us. So thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to hit subscribe, share this video with your family and friends, anyone that you think would love to have some great tips and tricks on art. Um, cheers and ooh, oh, don't forget, hit subscribe. And um, yeah, don't forget to visit us at Instagram if you wanna um, sneak peeks in between the videos. All right guys, cheers. See you in the next one. Bye.